can't wait to hear about what connections you made for me. But please find me during lunch. Because I don't want to take away from you guys hearing Mr. Vasquez's story. Turn your track, Mr. Vasquez. Awesome. Christian Stratty, Stephanie Stratty, before I share my why for why I teach math, and a little bit about this cardboard iron and ironing board that I crafted for you. I want to share a couple of things. One, thank you. Thank you goes to Tariq. Thank you, Tariq. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Jocelyn. Thank you, Jaylene. Thank you, Giselle. You're all earning sustained focus there because you're tracking so, so strong throughout the beginning of math. It makes me feel really, really safe share my why. Now, if you were to ask my mom when I was in kindergarten what I would be when I grew up, I wonder what she would say. Well, I don't have to wonder. She actually found my kindergarten report card. And if you look through it, back in the day when they used papyrus to show uh, report cards, the joke that you don't through, there was nothing like A's and B's or percentages. No. They would write U for unsatisfactory, S for satisfactory, or E for excellence. When you look through my report card, there's S's all over the place, except you flip to number readiness, nothing but E's. My mom knew it from when I was little. Maybe like Jaylene would say, oh, he's a math person. But wait, there's more. Because my mom, growing up, would tell me this story that is still with me today. She would tell me that she grew up in Ecuador and she went to a private Catholic school. But unfortunately, her grandparents, or my grandparents, her parents, could only afford one uniform for her to wear. She could only wear one uniform for like the whole school year. So what'd she do? After school, she would hand wash her uniform. And watch, the next morning, she would wake up really early, five in the morning, she would tell me, and she would, guess what? She'd iron that uniform. She didn't want any of her classmates to think that she was either poor or ignorant. She wanted to look professional every single day. Teammates, my friends, that persistence is what drives me to be the best teacher for you all. That persistence is what I want to pass on to you. We're going to persist together this year as we solve problems. But the beauty is not in the solving of the problems this year. It's in being problem solvers. And for that, we need to persist together. And I promise you that we will be here along the way to help you. And that's one of the reasons, just one. I have so many. You can talk to me about that later. Why I teach math. There's more. And before we get to the more, and we, I have this awesome video about a boy your age who persisted to do something great, I want you to reflect on your own and start to capture your why. What do you think? You've heard great being job, access to a higher level of math. You've heard this government story. You've heard my why. What about you? Take two minutes on your own to start sharing while we set up this video for you to watch. Ready? Go. You're writing down your reflection where it says, what's your why on the bottom of the page? Stephanie jumped right in. Jaden's reading. David started to practice his why. 